you a question. If you were not guaranteed of tomorrow, would yesterday still be your friend? And this is a question I pondered. I listened to many motivational speeches, Les Brown being my favorite, and he said this quote, and it really got me thinking, how am I living my life? And I keep thinking, I actually live like I do have a tomorrow, when I know that's not guaranteed. My grandmother, one of my grandmothers, she actually passed away while she was sleeping, and I, I went to her funeral, and I said, you know, that's the way I want to go. I want to go peaceful, you know, go while I'm sleeping, but that makes me realize now, well, okay, I'm going to go to bed. I've got my clothes set for tomorrow. That ain't going to possibly come. And that's how we got to live our life is a little more grounded and more sensible to that. I always like to say we got to move on from our situations that keep us back. I was living with my dad when I was 17, 18 years old, and things weren't going really well. And I always listen to motivational speeches with Eric Thomas, and he always says, it's you. It's your choice. It's you. It's time to go. Let's go. And he's very motivated. He's very, let's go, let's go, let's go type of thing. And that's what I needed. So when I was listening to him, all I'd think about is, I got to make a change. Because he's yelling. He's, he's going. He's really energetic. And I was sitting there going, you know, I got to make a change. And my mom said, you know, you can come out to Washington. I said, no, you know, things are okay. But then things started getting worse. And I realized if I don't go now, things will just get a lot worse. And that's where people go wrong, is they've lived their life with things going wrong and they think that's okay. And they think that that's how it needs to be and how it should be. And I just don't think that's how, you know, we need to technically live our lives and keep going on from day to day. I live my dream every single day. This is my dream, speaking in front of people just like you guys. I love it, there's nothing I love more. And when I always come in front of people and speak, I like to say, you know, there isn't, like I said, tomorrow. So when I'm up here, I kind of embrace it a little bit more. And I go tell my friends, you know, live your dream. And they don't do it. When I say, go live your dream, I have a friend who said that she's looking for a brand new job. And I said, well, what are you looking for? She goes, well, something I can go into my dream with. And because I just met this friend, so they're still trying to impress me, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, that's cool. What jobs are you looking for? And she named off things that aren't even considering her dream, that aren't even close. And I said, why are you going after that? And she goes, well, that's all that's around. I said, move. Get up and go. You know that quote where it says, oh, I wish I could just pick up and go? I've done that three times now. I've moved across the country again and again and again. I've moved from the Twin Cities down to New Orleans just because. I said, move. Things aren't going to get any better. Things aren't going to change. You're not going to get your dreams if you don't go. And that's something that it got her pondering, kind of like my coworker. And she goes, well, my family isn't going to give me my family inheritance if I don't get my GED. And I said, wow. You know, that's, that's kind of like a big push from your family, like, this is what we want you to do, and you're not going to get this reaping benefit. And I said, well, what do you want to do? And she doesn't have any goals or dreams. I, I was left speechless. I said, well, here's what we can do. I kind of drew out like a basic plan for her. I said, if you can get your GED, you can get these better jobs, because all she says is she wants to leave this job. And I said, OK. Well, work on your math, because she said that's a big issue for her. Work on your math. There's online tests, there's online courses, and do that. And I said, challenge yourself a little bit, but don't go overboard. And she goes, all right, all right. So I do this, then what do you want me to do? And I said, go for a five minute walk. This really took her back now. She's like, what does that have to do with me getting my GED? And I said, if you go for a five minute walk after you do an activity, it helps your body out because it releases your brain of what you were just doing. And this is something I've found key in my life too is, you know, when I get super stressed out and super agitated, go for a five minute walk. I used to do 20 mile walks because that's what I needed to do to relieve all my stress. You imagine in walking 20 miles, that's, that's quite a ways, I'm not gonna lie. Take a chance in life. 
that, that's my main thing. It's you. It's all about what you want to do. There's a story I like from uh, Les Brown, my favorite speaker, and he goes, you know, this guy went over to his neighbor's house, and they're all sitting out on the porch, and the dog's sitting there going, and he just doesn't think much of it, thinks all oh, the dog's in a little bit of pain. And he goes, why is your dog doing that? And he goes, well, the dog's sitting on a nail. He goes, why doesn't the dog get off? He goes, it doesn't hurt bad enough yet. And that's how we all are. You gotta realize this. We're all sitting on nails, complaining about our situations, and we don't do anything about it. We don't change, we don't even bother to think about changing, and even when we do, we just sit there and complain about it. I'm gonna tell you three basic things that you need to know, that you already know things about yourself that you know already. You all have dreams and goals. Whether you like it or not, you do. If you don't go after what you want, you will never have it. If you don't step forward, you will always be in the same place. And these three things that I just read off are the most true things in the world. I came across them today, and that took me back. And I said, whoa, because I've never read something more true in my life. I, it's everything I ever think about. If you don't take action, it'll never change. And that's, that's just not okay with me. And change is what I do best. Like I said, I moved across the country three times. I have moved four times in the last year. So like I said, it's all about you. It's time to take a chance in life, and I appreciate you all for listening, and I hope you all take away something today.